My name is Deneen Diamond. I'm the lead for the Center of Excellence for Health. Mental health means to me many different things. Mental health is something that's very personable. It also is a spectrum where we wake up with mental health, we go to bed with mental health, and there's all kinds of delicious events that can happen to affect our mental health. I think we all have to be aware that mental health changes. It changes daily, it changes hourly, and there are days where my mental health is absolutely amazing, and then there are days where I'm super low. So mental health is really the spectrum of our daily lives. What do I do to improve my own mental health? Well, I have a self-care routine that I put into my day, and I will say embarrassingly that I did not have this self-care routine until I needed it, and I wish I knew at a very young age that self-care is not something that you should put into your day when you're feeling bad. It should be something that you put into your day every single day to, because you know that you're worth that self-care and you're worth that time. So I do things like mindfulness, I do yoga, I do Reiki, I do reflexology, I love to go for massages. I think going for a pedicure is really important for my mental health. I certainly love to be in nature, being in nature and really engrossing myself in sounds and smells of nature helps me. And surrounding my, myself with really positive people, events like this are really important because it helps bring students together from across the province. And sometimes when we're living in isolated areas or maybe students that don't maybe go outside of their social network, they tend to be with the same people all the time. And events like this bring you to a, a positive event where you meet people that are maybe likewise or maybe complete opposites. And that's what's so juicy and lovely is when you meet someone that you don't think you would ever connect with and you have a connection. And I know for myself, um, events like this when I was younger really did allow me to make friends across the province, but also allow me to see outside of myself and my own situation. And that really helped my mental health. So long-term change for mental health, I believe comes from our students and making sure that the leaders like myself listen to our students. So listening to what the students are saying and not just listening and carrying on, but listening and saying, okay, they're telling me my, their needs is X and I'm going to make sure that I'm going to celebrate whatever it is that they need and empower them to make changes themselves, but also be that advocate um, as a leader to say, we need to make change and we need to keep this in the conversation, in our communities and make it a positive conversation so that we can move forward together.